If you look at the way we use energy, it's primarily divided into four areas, commercial, industrial, residential, and transportation. While the general principles are the same across the board, essentially you burn fossil fuels or any fuel, renewable fuel, to drive heat and power, the applications are very, very different. How you apply and develop technology to those different areas varies considerably. There isn't one silver bullet that we could use for all. Like solar is super for residential, for commercial applications, but not so good for transportation sector where you need high energy densities. So it's fun to look at kind of the boundary conditions, the initial conditions that are associated with each of those sectors and see how can you customize. And then within that, you have very different demands based on the culture, based on the development of the nation. You should take the class because you should have a good understanding of the resources that are available to you as, as John or Jane Q public and as an engineer, what it's costing when you design technologies and everybody's affected by energy consumption, regardless of whether or not you're working directly in the power generation sector or whether you're doing just pure manufacturing because all of us are converting raw materials into product and that process is inherently energy intense. So I as an engineer feel that actually I as a member of society feel everybody should be able to understand the principles that they're using when they apply engineering technology.